Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our English class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Share to your microphone. Down here. No se escucha. Teacher, I don't hear. Ahora, no me escuchan. Yes. This moment, yes. This moment, yes. Oh, okay. oh sorry. I got the, the volume down. <laughs> okay, so welcome, guys. Uh, we start the class this day and always um, with the motivation, you know, to practice. And I can say that these, uh, these weeks, you, I have seen uh, a very interesting participation and also a very promising uh, learning process that you have followed. So that means that you are getting what we really need, that you maximize your skills. And we go step by step. I know that one hour uh, a day can be very he helpful, but obviously when we have more time to practice and it's like much better, of course, because we feel more comfortable when we interact more with the language uh, as, as, a, as a English speakers. And I will explain you the reasons why. Because first we live in a, in a country in which or the official language is Spanish. We understand that. So that means that from, the, from 24 hours, most of the time we're talking about 12 or more, like 15, I don't know, um, we are interacting in our own language, that is Spanish. So that's mean that we don't have enough time to practice English because everything that we have around people, um, everything is in Spanish. But we try to leave from this environment and try to go on with English. That's why it's, it's a little bit more challenging for English speakers. For, for us, that we are trying to study English. So for that reason, we have to like, look for the ways, the, the ways in which we can practice. When I go home, my family speaks Spanish. My neighbors speak Spanish. Television is in Spanish. Everything around us is in Spanish. So we had to look for some uh, valuable things to practice at least in English. That's, that's one of the challenges we have every day. But besides that, you are here and practice English. So it's, it's fantastic. I mean, we are doing what we are supposed to be doing, all right? Taking a time for practicing English. And besides that, you have seen um, a nice progress in yourself because you know you speak English and that is great. So let's start with always with this motivation, because as I told you, I can see a very nice English level of most of you. And so that's mean that it's very promising. And we don't stop, we keep on working and also keep on practicing English. And your English level is gonna, is gonna improve, it's going, to, it's going to be better in the next, in the next uh, levels. Okay, are you ready? Yes? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes. Let's go. Okay. What's the topic for, for this class today? We talk about gerunds and short responses. Do you remember the gerunds? Yes. Right. And you, teacher? Yes. 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 Oh, the ING form. Okay. Okay. Of course. Right. So we're talking about the ING form. And also, um, we have some important examples that I will share with you today. And let's talk about this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I don't like working on weekends. Do you like working on weekends? No. <laughs> no. No? No. <laughs> okay. Um, so do I. <laughs> I but, like rest. But I, I, I know that some people work on, on weekends, especially Saturdays, until 12 noon, for example, but they don't work the, 
all the day, but I don't know in, in your case, if you work on weekends, a full schedule. For example, I work, I work Saturdays until 12 noon. So I work a couple of hours in the morning, but in the afternoon, I'm going to be free. And, but it's more relaxed, a little bit of working on weekends. Okay, look at this one. Um, the, tech, the 10 hottest jobs in the United States, expected numbers of new jobs 1994 and 2005. So look, according to this um, material that we have here, the hottest jobs in the United States. That mean that are like the kind of jobs that are like the most important or the most valuable jobs for Americans to work. So that's mean that they try to, to look for some kind of jobs like this. And also we have the first one, teachers like in a, in, a, in a big scale in comparison to to the rest of the jobs, like a kind of job. So teacher is like the top, it's like the hottest. Then we have a nurse, executive, uh, computer an, an analyst, computer analyst. So that is one of them. Truck driver, social worker, lawyer, financial manager, computer engineer, accountant. So there are some other jobs, like uh, the hottest jobs, but let's see. Expected numbers of new jobs in 1994 to 2005. So people are trying to get these kind of jobs. I don't know if this research is, uh, I don't know, is in this moment or is old because they work with these kind of projections in years ago. Imagine. 2005, we're 2022. So that's mean that the hottest jobs have changed. Perhaps some jobs are on the list, but some others are a priority now, especially with technology. So now with more technology, some people, uh, they apply for other jobs that that time ago they didn't have. Like for example, uh, people who work with applications, the apps creators, for example, the apps designers, applications, um, and, related to technology, some other jobs that uh, are very important nowadays. Look at this one, we have some questions. Uh, who wants to help me to read the questions? Me. Thank you. Um, does any of this information surprise you? Why? What jobs do you think are a hub in your country? Are they the same as the jobs above? Uh, rank the jobs from the most interesting one to the least interesting 10. No se escucha. No. No, no se escucha. No. Oh, I see. Okay, qué raro. <laughs> Quizás este, algún cablecito por aquí. Okay, um, we will be working in a small groups and we will discuss these questions because I want you to speak to produce the, this language. So does any of this information surprise you? Oh, honestly, yes, because I don't know why teacher is at the top, right? Uh, maybe the United States being a teacher, it's a little bit very interesting. I don't know what um, circumstances, you know, teachers like have like more freedom to do some things, but this is the projection in the United States in that time. But nowadays there are some other jobs that are very valuable nowadays. Some people say, teacher, I want to be an influencer. That, that because it's a new job. Have you heard about it? TikToker. A TikToker, an influencer. So, I mean, those are jobs that many people follow, being honest, but you need to show something to, I mean, to be a very famous um, TikToker or influencer, I don't know about it. Okay. YouTuber. A YouTuber too, of course. So yeah, people think about it and because they know that they can uh, make more money. 
Okay, so for that reason, we will take a short time to socialize these questions and in a couple of minutes, uh, discuss the questions with your group and get a, an idea about it. Okay, so we will open uh, the breaker rooms and please uh, getting into the groups and practice because that's one of the ways that we can speak English. Let's go. Uh, I don't listen, Oscar. Uh, so, well, uh, I think what uh, ask ask the question. Entonces, bueno, entonces hay que hacer las las preguntas o, o la respuesta de estas. ¿Cómo? Question. Does any preguntas? Hay que hacer las respuestas. Por ejemplo, el primero dice. Does any of this information surprise you? Why? Entonces, la primera dice, bueno, ya, ya, la, ya la, yo creo que ya la tradujeron, ¿verdad? Dice, ¿cuál de estas informaciones te sorprende? O sea, la que tenemos ahí arriba. Yes. ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que contestarla. Yes. Actually, eh, for me, is the... Teacher. <laughs> What teacher, because I think El Salvador is not to more uh, hardest jobs. The current, uh, the I, current the teacher, the question is, is what job do you think in your country? In the Salvador, in the teacher is more, um, no. No more is menos it's less. 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 It's less is the less the the current the teacher. Yes. I think. I think too. Maybe there are many jobs of teacher around around the country, but the new teachers can get a job because the older um, don't no no dejan el trabajo. <laughs> you listen to <and> teacher. <laughs> yes, the I, I I see the teacher is the very very um all is on the the class the class the class the class. <laughs> they are like they are in the boring. job. <laughs> nothing, nothing. The opportunity to work. <laughs> The the pen the teacher yes <laughs> because and the teacher the English is more uh, 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 and John <laughs> in the call center I'm more talking the, the the I don't know idioma I in, in, language 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 yeah ah teacher you hear <laughs> yeah I totally agree. <laughs> 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 but is it the teacher is young? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what job do you think are hot in your country? Uh, what job? Mm -hmm. in hot in the country is them. Uh, I, I, I think, think, I think the most common job are sales people, especially for a telephone company. Yeah, the uh, I think we have almost the same parameters 
eh, en, in the, in the country, the teacher, nurse, eh, truck driver, uh, oh, yeah. liar, liar, eh, is, is, um, uh, there are, um, and much, yeah, and, Excuse me. I think, me. I think it, it, I'm not the same in, in the in the country. But in this the moment, the YouTubers, <laughs> the YouTubers, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the influencer. In in, in nowadays is uh, we a lot of. We gain a lot of money. Well, um, and you, Erika Flores, the second question, your answer, please. Okay, I think that the most popular jobs in my country are the, the teacher and nurse, um, cloud, truck driver, um, lawyer, um, accountant, maybe is the most is the most popular. And you, uh, yes. And your case. Um, I seen the the hardest jobs in the Salvador are in. In first place, accountants, because I see a lot of accountants in the university, for example, and, and they they have they have the opportunity to to get a job uh, more quickly, like uh, are such a worker. And second place, I see. Um, one of the hardest jobs in the suburb are the computer analysts or or also call or, or also call um, engineer system. Uh, I seen that. I think so. And what about you, Marik Seven? The second question. Um, I think about um, the jobs are hot in, in the Salvador. Um, the the civil engineers for the women for the women. Um, The women is study in the university more than than uh, five 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 years ago. I think. Um. Let me see the last one. Where the job from the most interesting to the least interesting? Where's your rank uh, for these jobs, uh, Erika? Uh, what is the more? What is the most interesting for you? I don't hear you, Erika. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Uh, for me, um, the jobs. The most interesting uh, are the um, computer analyst and uh, computer engineer. Uh -huh. What about you? Um, for me, the, the more interesting is social worker because I study social work. Um, the least interesting, I think, um, lawyer. I, I don't like lawyer. I don't like. I I, I wouldn't like a lawyer. Uh, 
Um, uh, what is your rank, Daisy Carolina? In my case, um, the most interesting job is an arts because they have a lot of passion. And the second is uh, the teachers. Mm. And an accountant. Yes. And the first is a nurse. Okay. Uh, because. Uh, you are. Are the you most nurse? For me. Okay. Uh, what about Boris? All right. Ay, no lo había visto, ¿verdad? Sí. Well, for the rant job, from, from the most interesting for me is uh, maybe I think here in Salvador, uh, lately uh, increased the NARS, uh, maybe the soldiers, but it doesn't appear here that, that employment. Uh, um, the less for me maybe is, well, I, I don't like financial manager, but maybe some people like, uh, but the seller in the country, I think uh, there is a lot of people selling something in the different enterprise. Um, well, uh, for me, uh, the hardest uh, actually is uh, in healthy nurse. And what, what is your answer for the first question? What is? Oh, okay. It's an executive. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> uh, well, I think that. We back. Okay, guys. Well, we go back. So that was a great, uh, great conversation we had about you know some jobs, and at the same time nowadays we have different kind of rank as we understand that there are some other jobs that nowadays are like more valuable than time ago, some years ago, and also new jobs that come up. Perhaps in the future there will be some other jobs that nowadays we don't have, but this is uh, the evolution that as human beings we are developing all the time. Okay, so congratulations, and we continue with the next activity. And well, and definitely that most of us, we have different jobs, but let's talk about gerunds and show responses. As you can see here, this topic is pretty easy. It's like a piece of cake. So I will explain you the reasons why. Okay, so we're talking about gerunds and we're talking about show responses. And we have affirmative statements with gerunds. This is, for example, when we use the subject, we use a verb, and the next word uh, it starts with a gerund. For example, I like driving or I like to drive. I like driving. So in that case, I use like, I use hate. These verbs are called steady verbs. Do you remember these steady verbs? Uh, look at this. Look at the chat. Uh, this is the real name about this kind of verbs. Steady verbs. Uh, do you remember these steady verbs? Mm, not the yes, chat. teacher. Okay. Not the teacher. the steady verbs are those verbs that don't represent an action. 
they represent an state, a, a feeling, an emotion, but are verbs, of course, but they don't, they, they are not um, action verbs like play, jump, sleep, dance. Those verbs are action verbs. In, that, in the case of stated verbs, they represent an state. That's why are stated because they represent a state, an emotion, a feeling. For example, when you like, when you dislike, when you hate, when you smell, etc. Um, when you think, look at that one. I like driving. Um, we know the rule that when after an stated verb, we, the next verb can be used in gerund. Like is an stated verb. It is not an action verb. So you say, I like and the next verb has to go with ing. I like driving. Hate is an stated verb. Love is an stated verb. For, forgive is an stated verb. I hate working on weekends. I hate the next verb goes with ing form. I hate working on weekends. I'm good at using computers. You can see those are the steady verbs. And when we're using the steady verbs, um, maybe that somebody or the listener will agree or not what you say. For example, you say, hey, I like driving. Hey, so do I. Oh, oh, I, I don't. So we can see the example here. Look at the look at the example. Uh, do you remember the use of so do I, so am I? Uh, do you remember this topic? Or do you want yes. me to, to explain you? Yes, or, yeah. You remember? Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, we, we don't go deeper on this topic. Okay, perfect. So in uh, uh, this year, would you explain? Would you explain to me uh, because I I am new in this class. Oh, okay, perfect. So I, I will explain about the uh, the agree. And when we when we are listening someone saying something, maybe you could be agree or disagree about a situation. For example, you say uh, in Spanish. I, I say that in Spanish. Eh, me gustan las pupusas. ¿Y qué dirían ustedes? Sí, a mí también. A mí ah, también. Ajá, Ay. ¿verdad? Y a todos yeah. nos gusta y somos felices. Ok, the point is that uh, when we agree about something, we can use these short responses. Si el verbo, el verbo es un verbo infinitivo general, nosotros, por obvias razones, usamos el do como un auxiliar, ¿sí o no? Lo usamos para preguntas. Uh, do, you, do you play soccer? Do you dance? Do you study? And also, también lo usamos eh, para, para negativo. I don't like, I don't, I don't work, I don't travel, I don't sleep. Entonces, ese, ese mismo auxiliar lo ocupamos para decir, por ejemplo, yo, I like driving, me gusta conducir. Ah, yo también, entonces yo digo en inglés, so do I. I like eating pupusas. Y usted me responde. So do I. So do I. Si está de acuerdo. So do I. Y si, so we are. Y si yo digo, I don't like pupusas. Oh, I don't. Usted puede decir, I, I don't. O really, I, I like it. O I'm not. So usted responde como disagree. Um, pero si yo ocupo, por ejemplo, el verbo to be, ya no voy a utilizar el do. Porque ya el verbo ya no es un verbo general, sino que es un verbo con un verbo propio con am, is, and are. So I am good at using the computers. Yo quiero decir que yo también. Entonces digo, so am I. Estoy usando am porque yo usé en la oración am. Entonces, so am I. I'm studying English. Hey, so am I. Uh, I'm, I'm going um, exercising at the gym. Hey, so am I. Y si está en disagreement, usted puede decir, oh, I don't. Really? I like it. Oh, gee, I'm not. 
like the way. Entonces dice, other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love es un steady verb, es un, es un verbo de estado, no es un verbo de acción. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo digo, yo amo, o sea, o amas o, o no amas. No puedes decir tú, es que estoy amando. No se puede porque es un verbo de, de, que no representa una acción continua. O amas o no amas, ¿sí? Enjoy también es otra. Disfrutar. I, o disfruto o no disfruto. I enjoy. Entonces es un steady verb, es un verbo de estado. O be interested in. Ahí vemos otros ejemplos. Entonces, con estos verbos, con los steady verbs, si yo voy a ocupar otro verbo, yo tengo que, puedo agregarle ING. I love playing soccer. I love traveling. I love uh, using the computer. I love eating pupusas. I enjoy going to the movies. I enjoy watching video games. I enjoy uh, going out with my friends. I enjoy traveling to Central America. Uh, I'm interested in sleeping. I'm interested in reading books. I'm interested in uh, going to festivals, etc. This is what we call the gerunds. Y tenemos los negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working evenings. I don't mind working evenings. Um, Neither do I. Si yo digo, hey, pues a mí no me importa trabajar los fines de semana. Oh, perdón, eh, evenings, que en este caso son como las tardes, noches. Nosotros estamos trabajando evenings, right? So I don't mind working in evenings. Hey, neither do I. En este caso, cuando yo ocupo el neither, es porque yo quiero decir que ni yo tampoco. Ese neither es como ni yo. Entonces yo le digo que a mí no me afecta. Yo quiero decir, hey, yo tampoco. Entonces... Eh, voy a utilizar el neither do I. And I don't have problems eh, going to the gym at night. Hey, neither do I. I don't, I don't worry studying English at night uh, with English corporativo. Hey, neither do I. Ni yo tampoco. And so that's mean that you share uh, or you agree about something. Ya a la siguiente oración dice, I'm not good at writing reports. Ya aquí es un poquito más, eh, no soy bueno, I'm not good on, at writing reports. No soy bueno escribiendo reportes. Y usted coincide, dice, hey, neither am I. Y acá pues está el am, porque como la persona dijo que utilizó el verbo to be, entonces mi respuesta va a ser con el verbo to be, neither am I. Uh, I'm not good drinking alcohol. Hey, neither am I. Ni yo tampoco. Um, I'm not good at, at the gym. Hey, neither am I. Porque estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Um, vamos con la siguiente. I can't stand making mistakes. Um, ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar en esta oración? I can't stand making mistakes. Can't. El can't. El can't. Entonces, el que va a ir reflejado en el agree va a ser el verbo auxiliar, que es el primer verbo. Entonces, yo digo que yo no puedo. Me está condicionando. Entonces, yo digo, neither can I. Ni yo puedo tampoco. ¿Por qué, no? ¿Por qué ocupo el can? Porque el speaker usó el can. Entonces, yo lo tengo que usar también para decir que yo tampoco no puedo. Es que yo no puedo hacer pupusas. Ni yo puedo tampoco. Entonces es el mismo verbo. Entonces, in the, in the agreement, you say, neither can I. Si ocupo I el... Yeah? Uh, we use uh, the, the first person in this case of this statement, but what happens if we use this uh, in the third person? Uh, maybe I, I, I want to say that she is okay. She really wants to do... Uh, the 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 statement oh, oh okay yeah in that case um, ahí podemos incluir a una tercera persona por ejemplo yo digo es que yo no no puedo soportar I can't stand making mistakes yo no puedo soportar cometer errores pero y, bien, y bien, viene alguien y usted dice hey pero Daisy tampoco puede entonces yeah. uh, neither can Daisy 
sea, ya tampoco puede soportar errores. Entonces, ahí lo que hacemos es que se le agrega el, el personal pronoun. And when we use uh, the actually do, uh, we change to that. I'm sorry. Maybe I can she. say. Uh, exactly. That's right. So in that case, because we're talking about the third person, so the auxiliary yeah. uh, do um, and can, well, do changes. Neither does she. Neither does okay. he. So in that case, switches. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And also, you can appreciate right here the disagreement. Well, I do. Es decir, eh, no me importa trabajar en las, en las noches. Oh, neither do I. Pero el disagree sería, well, I do. Realmente yo sí. Well, I do. Or oh, I mind. Or oh, I don't mind. So you can see here uh, the gerunds and also the short responses. This is a very, a very American way to agree or disagree on something. And we will see some other examples that we can help us, right? We will see some other examples. That uh, I will show you in general how these short responses work. So for that reason, let's help me with the following statement. Add the phrases in the column A and V to make statements about yourself. Then take turns writing your sentences and giving short responses. For example, I don't, I don't like what? Working with a team, maybe. Okay, so th there is a possible choice. In that case, you had to match the phrases in columns to make a statements about yourself, of course. So for, uh, you say, I don't like what? So you see the statements and you match them according to something you like or you don't like. So I will give you a short time to do that. Meanwhile, I will take a time to check the attendance list, okay? I try to make a statement and I will leave from here because I need to check the attendance list. Just give me one second. Okay, teacher. I don't like the meaning of the word. Okay, listen to your name and you say present. Um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Uh, Alejandro. Eh, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Geraldina Sánchez. Andrea Geraldina Sánchez. Andrea Michelle García. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Boris Mar Martín Salinas. Brian Isaac Escamilla. Present. Eh, Carlos José Asensio. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Denise Isaías Gómez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. D. 
Dina Elizabeth Flores. Elba Carolina Vázquez. Present teacher. Thanks. Erika Maidela Antonio Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Francisco Alberto Lemos. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks. Iris Regina Hernández. He's here, teacher. Thanks. Jaime. Eh, Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Present teacher. Thanks. Jessica Yanet Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo Morán. Present teacher. Thanks. Yes. Jaime is here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Jaime is here. I use uh, her my name, but no my last name. Uh, is membrane. Jaime Escalante. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay, that's okay. Thanks. Um, Katia Graciela Kwan. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Maria Lucila Soto. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Isabel Mendez. Present teacher. Thanks. Nadia Isolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Noemí Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Eh, Sara Nelda Guzmán. Present teacher. Eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía. Me pelando, pelando. Present teacher. Thank you. Gracias. Wendy Abigail Rivera. Present teacher. Thanks. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo. It's absent. Okay. Well, let's continue. Okay, so for example, if I say I don't like uh, it, this is actually free because we can use our own answers. So I don't like what? Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. I don't like what? Mm -hmm. About about yourself. Talking on the phone. Okay. Do the laundry. Okay. I don't like cooking. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Having breakfast. <laughs> cooking, cooking breakfast. Yeah. Okay. What about what about I'm not, I'm not very good at. I don't know, very good at. Yes? At running. <laughs> okay. Teacher, I'll escribe in the chat. Yes. Sitting in meeting. Okay. Um, what about I'm good at? So I do, uh, solving problems. Solving problems. Okay. Writing reporter. Okay. Working with a team. <laughs> okay. Learning language. Okay, good. And what about I hate? I hate making coffee for my making boss. Making coffee, coffee for my boss. boss. <laughs> I, I hate my boss. <laughs> I hate baseballs. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. What about I can stand? Talking on the phone. Sitting in the meeting. Sitting in the meeting. All right. Um, I'm interested in learning with a learning I'm interested in earn a lot of money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. I don't mind making coffee for my making bro. coffee for my Serving problem. Working with a team. <laughs> okay. Uh, I enjoy. Talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Chat. My time. Making. <laughs> Making coffee for my boss. Fire. 
Baik. Oke. You're falling in love with your boss. You're, I mean, you're, what, what you're saying? What word is that? What? I am making coffee for my boss. Making what? Making, making coffee for her boss. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm speechless about that. <laughs> All right. Don't so believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at the next examples about the the possible answers, right? We can uh, agree or disagree. Um, in this case, we for example, I'm from Turkey. I say, I'm from Turkey. Then someone says, Hey, but I don't come from here. Or I say, So am I. Hey, I am too. So am I. Or I'm not. If you're not there, then no, I'm not. I'm from Salvador. I'm not from Istanbul. Ni yo tampoco. Entonces decimos siempre usamos el neither. Ese neither es como que ni, ni yo, ni, ni yo tampoco. Entonces I'm not. Neither am I. Y si lo contrario pues sería I am. Pues yo sí soy, right? I like playing football. So do I. O sea, a mí me gusta también. I don't es lo opuesto. I don't like playing baseball. Hey, neither do I. Ni yo tampoco. Porque somos el do. Ah, y lo opuesto es I do. I went to the cinema yesterday. Yo fui al cinema ayer. Entonces, when is the simple past. En este caso, el pasado, el pasado, eh, como es pasado, went, el auxiliar es did. Entonces, por eso es que va a decir, so did I. Porque como yo fui, entonces yo también fui. Entonces, como en el presente usamos el do, el auxiliar para responder sería el did. Hey, so did I. Yo les digo, por ejemplo, hay, hay, vamos a ver, quiero decir, usemos las pupusas. I ate pupusas yesterday. Y usted también comió, ¿cómo me va a decir? So did I. So did I. So did I, porque so yo, tam I. yo también. Ajá. Exacto. I went to work. Hey, so did I. Y la, I didn't es como que, hey, yo, pero yo no comí. I didn't. It's the opposite. I didn't do my homework. Yo no hice mi tarea. Como es negativo, entonces yo voy a decir, neither did I, ni yo tampoco la hice. Pero como ustedes siempre hacen tareas, no pueden decir eso. I did. Y the opposite is I did, right? Eh, aquí vemos el presente perfecto. I have been to Italy twice. Hey, yo he ido a Italia dos veces. Entonces, eh, como el, el verbo el verbo principal auxiliar, ¿cuál sería ahí? Yo he estado. I have been to Italy. El how. Ajá. How. Como es un como es un presente perfecto, el, el verbo principal es have. Entonces yo quiero decir que yo también he ido dos veces a Italia. Entonces yo digo so have I. ¿Ya? Digo, so have I, porque es el verbo auxiliar del presente perfecto. Y yo digo, así, ah, hey, pero yo no he ido. I haven't. Ahora vemos la siguiente. I haven't been to Germany before. Hey, yo no he ido o yo no he estado en Alemania antes. Y yo quiero decir que yo tampoco he estado. Neither have I. Y I have sería en este caso the opposite. Dice Daisy, I have seen all the matches of the World Cup Qatar 2022. Qué suerte. Ok, en este caso, si yo quiero decir que yo también, yo también los he visto, ¿cómo sería? So did I. No, porque como es presente perfecto, yo he visto. So I So have I. So have I. Hey, so have I. Yo también los he visto. Entonces vemos ahí es. I was at home last night. Yo estuve en casa anoche. En este caso, el verbo principal es el verbo ser o estar en pasado. Hey, yo estuve en casa anoche. Yo también estuve. Entonces yo digo, so was I. Porque como, como el, el, la persona usó el was, entonces yo también voy a usar el was. 
si la persona usó un verbo en presente simple, entonces yo voy a utilizar el do, porque es lo mismo. I will buy a new phone. Hey, compraré un nuevo teléfono. Esto ya es futuro. El auxiliar es will. Entonces yo voy a utilizar el will como auxiliar. Y entonces yo digo, so will I. I, I will buy a new phone. Hey, so will I. I will go to Qatar. So will I. O puede I decir, want. I want. I want. I want. <ríe> I want. Uh -huh. Hasta yo, I want. <ríe> okay, so I that is enough money. The money. <ríe> yeah, of course. We need to win the, the lottery. <ríe> okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí con el con the Christmas bonus, the Christmas bonus. El aguinaldo, el aguinaldo, the Christmas bonus, you know. That's a good chance. All right. Uh, veamos otros ejemplos para que tengamos como una, una idea clara de, de cómo utilizar the short responses. Aquí vamos a utilizar eh, el so am I, so do I, y so, so will I. So will he, so will she, ¿verdad? Entonces yo digo, I'm tired. Y si usted está cansado, usted diría, oh, no. So am I. I am tired. Oh, so am I. Hey, yo también. Yo también estoy cansado. O puedo decir yo, I am tired too. El famoso too. I'm tired too. Estoy cansado también. Yo les digo en inglés, I like studying. So, so do I. I. So, do I. Uh -huh. so do I. Me gusta estudiar. A mí también me gusta. Por eso están aquí. So do I. Right? John loves music. Eh, so does Mary. Aquí es, lo que, aquí es lo que preguntaba el compañero que, que pasaba si, si incluíamos a una tercera persona. Sí se puede. Y decimos que a John le gusta la música, pero yo sé que a Mary también le gusta. Entonces yo digo, so does Mary. So does Jenny. Um, so does Elba, etc. I was at the office. Yo estaba en oficina. Yo también estaba. Sería so was. So I. was I. Ajá, I. Porque, porque el sujeto utilizó was. Entonces, como yo estoy de acuerdo, yo digo I was. You were late. Hey, llegaste tarde. You were late. Tú también. So, so were you. Tú también llegaste tarde. Entonces, ahí usted, pues... Ocupa eh, where. I went to bed very late. So did I. Y si es negativo sería I don't. I, en este caso I didn't. O sea, pero yo no. Sally has found a job. Sally ha encontrado un trabajo. Esta oración es presente perfecto. Entonces, el verbo principal es has. Entonces, por eso va a decir, so has Rachel. Es decir que Rachel también ha encontrado un trabajo. Entonces decimos, so has Rachel. Esto es una cuestión de práctica, pura práctica. Cuando usted le dice una estructura y está de acuerdo, usted la ocupa. Pero la clave es escuchar qué, qué verbo principal va a utilizar la persona que le está diciendo algo. Por ejemplo, yo digo, yo les digo en este momento, hey guys, I, I will be late for class today. Y justamente usted también siente lo mismo. So will, Entonces, I. So will, so I. will I. So will I. Porque yo dije que I will be, I will be late. Yo les digo, hey, uh, Tom, can, Tom can speak French. So can... So can I. Okay, so can she. Okay, so can she. So can she. Y si usted también puede también, usted puede decir so can, so can I. So can I. So can I. So can I. So en este caso, como usamos can, entonces vamos a repetir el, la respuesta con can. You should go home. Tú deberías irte a casa. ¿Cuál sería el principal ahí? Tú. Should. 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 Ajá. should. El auxiliar should. El, el auxiliar should. El verbo auxiliar. Entonces, yo le digo, hey, you should too. Entonces, ahí usamos 
eh, lo que son los auxiliaries. Si yo les digo, I can speak English. So can, so can I. I can I. So can I. So Muy can bien. I. Um, I clean the house. So do I. So do I. I. So do I. So do I. So do I. Porque estamos utilizando el verbo eh, clean que es el sí. verbo, verbo general. Ah, ok. Um, I am el, good. Uh, I am... El am. Teacher, el am es solo cuando usamos el to be, ¿verdad? Exacto. Por ejemplo, lo voy a usar ahorita. I am good at eating so pupusas. So am I. 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 Y pues, tiene que sonar un poquito. Bueno, ya con la práctica, pues ya suena un poquito más natural. Es, oh. You know, I, I, I am good at math. I, I'm good at math. Oh, so am I. Suena como más natural. Oh, so am I. So am I. I, I can play the guitar. So can I. So can I. Um, hey, you should, you should go, you should go to bed early. So should, so should you? So should you? So should you? Eh, tú también deberías. So should you? So should you? So should you? Ajá. O sea, tú también, right? So, como un advice, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces decimos, um, I I cook my dinner. So do I. I do I. So do I. Exactly. So do I. Um, I go to work every day. So do I. So do I. I love action movies. So do I. So do I. So do I. So do I. Uh, so do I. Eh, so do I. So do I. Okay. Eh, I, I can. I can drive. So, so, so I can drive. Okay. I can drive. So can I. So can I. So can I. So can I. Acuérdense que yo usé can. I can drive. So can I. Entonces, la, la clave es que cuando usted está en una conversación, por obvias razones, usted tiene que estar al 100% pendiente de lo que alguien le diga, si es una conversación importante. Es como que ustedes me dijeran algo y yo, ah, ¿cómo fue? ¿Qué dijo? ¿What? Entonces, entonces usted escucha que lo que la persona va a decir. Y si en ese momento usted tiene la misma respuesta o lo opuesto, usted lo dice, utilizando el verbo principal. So, that is actually part of the, the short responses with gerunds. You know, it's actually pretty easy, but uh, as a part of the recommendation is that you can practice, practice, practice the responses because this is a good way to, to be very fluent and fast when somebody says something. In my case, I got experience because I practice. So uh, try to work with this activity uh, simultaneously. Say some sentences and some possible um, answers using this one. Okay, before that we finish the class, I don't know if you have a question or doubt. No, teacher. Not teacher. Okay, guys. So please do me the favor to working the exercises in the platform because it's very important. Don't forget to complete them. It's a, as part of the practice. And also I like because you help each other when somebody has a question in the group. Uh, most of you are ready to help or to guide this person in the exercise. This is good because we are, we are a team so we can help each other. So somebody has done an exercise and has the experience about how to respond that so you can guide the other person to do that. So that's very good. So we are learning each other in this process, okay? So I hope to see you guys the next, uh, the next week. Don't forget to uh, practice and also uh, get energy for the next week.
All right? Okay. Happy weekend, everybody. Good evening. 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 Good evening.